All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, before we dive into this class lesson, give it an honor, no glory, no praise due to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Akakadash. Double honors, great males, don't add up, possible teacher as well. Peace, salutation to those for elect the scattered broad, the like the other nation, Shalom, Shalom. And Shalom to the sincere Akim that's out there making a body, a little sacrifice going out there on the highways, byways, and hedges, proclaiming his truth. And teaching 100% truth, keep doing so to those who may be. And the Shalom to the Sarah Quathium, that's out there resting your husbands, being a pillar of rest, keep doing so to those who may be. Shalom, Shalom. Yahweh has been the Heavenly Father, which the word ethically calls God, which his name means in the ancient Paleo Hebrew. He is to exist, or he's the ancient of days. Bahashem, meaning the name of Yahweh Shai, being only got the Son of the Heavenly Father, which the word ethically calls Jesus the Christ. Which his name means in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, he is the Savior, or he is salvation, and who is he coming to save? The children of Israel only. Okay? And the Concordance being the Holy Spirit. This is GMS St. Louis back at it again with another class lesson, and today's topic is basically going over the kingdom of heaven. And um, basically how blessed we are and blessed how and basically how blessed we are going to be in the kingdom. You know, because the Israelites as a people, we are blessed by nature, you know. You know, before we was talking about, before we started class, we was talking about the many inventions that Jake has came up with, you know, just to show you that Jake's mind is on a different level than you heathens, man. But due to captivity and years and years of beating down to Jake, you know, you got a lot of Israelites that's out here moving around like lost souls and, and looking dumb, you know. But through this knowledge and wisdom that Yahweh Shemi Al Shai has gave us, you know, we understand what we have to look forward for, you know, and basically, you know, we, we are, we are blessed, but we are blessed in the cursed situation right now, you know, because we are reading what we are going to go into is basically what we are going to inherit, inherit, because we already got the victory. We just waiting on these prophecies to continue to come to pass. So we're going to start off with um, Isaiah 60. Go ahead with that. Uh, Isaiah chapter 60, uh, verse 10, it says, And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, and their kings shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor have I shown mercy on thee. Right, so these strangers that's going to build up our walls, you know, these uh, these heathens, you know, they're going to build up our walls. You know, the kingdom of heaven is going to be built on earth. That's the Lord's prayer, you know, thy kingdom on earth, you know. The kingdom of heaven is going to be on this earth, all right? And basically, just like how we had to build up this devil's society, you know, the roles is going to be reversed. You know, they're going to build up our kingdom, build up our walls, all right? Continue on on that. Therefore, thy gates shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day nor night that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, that their kings may be brought. Right. And the forces of the Gentiles, once again, is the heathens, you know. And basically what they are going to be, they are going to be tributaries to us in the kingdom, you know. Bringing us their most precious and viable items, you know. Basically, they're going to give us everything. Just like we got to give you devils and you heathens everything, you know. We got to pay you devils taxes and pay you devils you know, we, we got to give our body to our jobs, you know, working hard and stuff like that, uh, breaking our bodies down, you know. But the road's going to be reversed, and, you know, y'all going to become tributaries to us, all right? You're going to be having to pay us, you know, the things that you hold valuable, all right? Continue on, verse 12. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. Mm -hmm. The glory of Lebanon shall come upon thee, so, so come unto thee, the fir tree, the pine tree, the box together, to beautify the place of my sanctuary, <coughs> and I will make the place of my feet glorious. Mm -hmm. The sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee, and all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet, and they shall call thee the city of the Lord Yahweh, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Right, and the Lord is going to exalt his people as well, you know. These these people, these heathens are literally going to be 
you know, they're going to be humble in the sight of us, man, because, hey, the Lord, we are the princes of the power, all right? Right now, we don't have that power right now, you know, that these heathens come bow down to us, you know, as of right now, but in the kingdom, surely that will be happening, you know? The heathens going to know not to come at you sideways in the kingdom. That's going to be lashes on the back right there, man. But that's why, you know, the Lord is going to exalt us. You know, we are a base right now. As the scriptures say, Yahweh Shah said, he that is a base shall be exalted. You know, right now we are humble. You know, we are a base. You know, we ain't walking around all flashy, you know, having uh, fringed up comedy shows and stuff like that. Having all these glorious gatherings on this side. No, that's, we got to, it's best to have all that in the kingdom. Because we can't enjoy ourselves on this side, you know. You only have that for a moment or a couple hours on this side, you know, but in the kingdom, it's going to be forever, man, you know, it's going to be glorious forever, be able to enjoy ourselves forever, all right, you got Jake right now, you know, stumping on heathen's backs and stuff, it ain't time to be doing that all right, right now, man, you know, we wait into the kingdom to do all that, all right, continue on, whereas thou hast been forsaken and hated, so that no man went through thee, I will make thee an eternal excellency, the joy of many generations. Thou shalt also suck the milk of the Gentiles, and shalt suck the breasts of kings, and thou shalt know that I, the Lord Yahweh, and thy Savior, and thy Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. Right, and that milk is supposed to represent the abundance that you Gentiles hold, you know. You know, you know these heathens got a lot of wealth, you know, going from Esau, you know, you know, Hamites, Moab, you know, um, Ishmael, you know, uh, Elam. Yeah, yeah, hold a lot of wealth. That's why it says it says suck the milk of the Gentiles, because y'all gonna bring that to us. Your abundance, you know, your riches. Once again, going back to you, y'all being our tributaries, you know. Continue on. For brass I will bring gold, and for iron I will bring silver, and for wood, brass, and for stones, iron. Right. I will also make thy offices peace, and thine ex exactors righteous. Mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. Violence shall no more be heard in thy land, wasting, nor destruction within thy borders, but thou shalt call thy wall of salvation, mm -hmm. and thy gates praise. The sun shall be no more thy light by day, Neither uh, for brightness shall the moon give light unto thee, but the Lord your house shall be unto thee an everlasting light, and thy and thy power thy glory. Thy sun shall no more go down, neither shall thy moon withdraw itself, for the Lord your house shall be thine everlasting light, and the days of thy morning shall be ended. Mm -hmm. Thy people also shall be all righteous, they shall inherit the land forever, the branch of my planting, the work of my hands, that I may be glorified. Right. And, you know, the scriptures say right here, thy people also shall be all righteous. You know, right now, you're seeing two-thirds of our people right now, you know, they not in the right state of mind right now, you know. You got Jake out here wilding out in the streets. You know, you got Jake out here um, on live TV, you know, basically explaining and telling them that he's a maniac. You know, and went to steal a bus and kill people, man. You know, Jake is not in his right mind right now. You know, and then look at the music that our people produce out here. You know, you got your sexy reds out here. You know, you got your NBA young boys, your little dirks, and all that. You know, the the song of fools. You know, and our people indulge when they hear those that that music. You know, they act out that same vibration that is put out there. You know, that's why the Lord created the one-third to be saved and the two-thirds to be destroyed on this side, you know. But that's why it says in the kingdom that thy people also shall be all righteous, all right? Because all Israel is going to come back in the kingdom righteous, all right? You, we got family members that, that we see, you know, we love. You know, they ain't right in the mind. They doing things that ain't right. But that's why the Lord... That's why the Lord is going to have mercy on Israel at the same time. Even though two-thirds are going to be destroyed on this side, they are going to come back. All right? They're not going to sit and burn forever in hell, man. All right? That's why the Lord said that all thy people shall be righteous. And you go to verse 22. 
A little one shall become a thousand, and a small one a strong nation. Mm -hmm. I, the Lord Yahweh, will hasten it in its, in its time. Right, a little, time. a little one shall become a thousand. You know, Jake is going to be very, very fruitful and multiplying in the kingdom because the two thirds got to come back. All right, they got to come back through the one third. You know, the the elect. All right, but the the, the beauty of that. You know, a little one should become a thousand. Hey, Jake is going to be able to enjoy his children in the kingdom, you know. Jake ain't going to be too busy working on the plantation, you know, 12 hours at the job, barely seeing his children. By the time he get home, his kids asleep. He got to go to work the next day. He can't see it. He, he ain't able to see his children, you know. But in the kingdom, we're going to be able to enjoy our children. We're going to be able to, you know... See our children in the morning, see our children at lunch, and, uh, you know, for dinner, all that, you know. But that's the beauty of, you know, the kingdom of heaven that we are going to be inheriting, you know, right? Because, hey, we, we are a blessed people. Once again, we are a blessed people in a cursed situation, man. You know, even though Jake having a lot of children on this side right now, you know, Jake can't enjoy them all, man. You know, Jake having... Uh, baby mama issue. That's going to stop in the kingdom, man. You know? Jake on child support. All that shit is going to stop. You know? And if I can even deal with that, I guarantee you, you sick of that, man. You know? Jake dealing with, you know, Esau every day. You know? Going to work and Esau get on your damn nerves. You know? You dealing with niggas every day. You know? The Lord going to get rid of the, 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 the nigga shit in the kingdom too, man. You're going to be able to come to a brother that wasn't in his right mind in the kingdom of heaven and be like, hey, man, I remember, you, you, you know, you're going you gonna to be chopping it up, man. You know, you ain't going to be looking at him and you look at him and y'all have a nigga moment, man. You know, that's going to stop, you know, because when you read in Deuteronomy 28 chapter, you know, you read the first couple verses. Those are the things that we would have been in. We would have done the right thing, you know. Evil would not be evil. Uh, your eye would not be evil towards thy brother. But now, you know, that's that's the case. I quite sure brothers had uh, accounts where you probably working the job or you out in public and some nigga just eyeing you wrong. You just like, damn, what I do to him? You know. But that's the curses. But that's why the Lord is gonna take all that away and bless us, and we are going to be one in the kingdom. You know, right. especially you know among. Southern Kingdom and Northern Kingdom, man. Because there's some Northern Kingdoms that I be seeing. I'm like, man, why, why the hell are you doing that shit, man? You know? But at the same time, you know, it's that, 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 them curses, man. You know, right? Um, you go ahead and read that Amos, um, you're going to start at verse, uh, 8. And just read that, um, all that people shall be righteous. You know? Uh, this, this is... Amos, this is Amos 9, chapter 9, start at the 8th verse, it says, Behold, the eyes of the Lord God power are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, said the Lord the power. Right. So the eyes of the Lord are upon this sinful kingdom. I'm not quite sure I can know what that sinful kingdom is. Babylon. Exactly. America, you know, Babylon, you know. The, the Lord is literally looking at this place, and it's the most corrupted place and wickedest place to ever exist. But you have our people here that's um, uh, uh, that's living here in Babylon, and you got two-thirds of our people that's partaking in the ways of Babylon, the wickedness of Babylon. So when the Lord says, I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, meaning he's going to save a remnant of Israel, you know, but two thirds is going to be destroyed. But when you go into back into the Isaiah when it was 60, you know, it tells you that all thy people shall be righteous because, hey, when the Lord destroyed the two thirds on this side, they're going to go into come back in the kingdom of righteous. All right. So um, you can go ahead and jump down to verse 11, brother. This is back in the book of Amos, chapter 9, verse 11, and it reads, it says, In that day I will raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen, and close up the breaches thereof, and I will raise up 
these ruins that I will build it as in the days of old. Right. You know, we seeing that happen right now. You know, you, you got camps, you know, out here, you know, you got Northern Kingdom and Southern Kingdom together, you know, within the camps, you know. But hey, in the kingdom, that's definitely going to be magnified as well, you know. Uh, Southern Kingdom and Northern Kingdom together without any friction, you know, not vexing each other no more, you know. We are literally going to be one in the kingdom. That's why the Lord said he's going to build it as in the days of old. Because, hey, when we're together, we, we are strong, all right? There's nothing this devil can do to us when we are together. That's why this devil got divided, conquered us, you know, put us against each other. You know, that serpent that's in your ear, you know. But the Lord is going to do away with all that and bring us together. You know, right now, you know, you can't get along with the northern. You, you can, but at the same time, it's always going to be some kind of friction if you try to get along with the northern kingdom in the world, you know. Or, you know, first vice versa, you know, a, J, a brother that's northern kingdom try to get along with a southern kingdom brother. You know, it's, it's, it's going to be that friction, there, you know. You trying to be righteous and they doing some off the wall shit. You know, you be like, I can't partake in that, you know. But at the same time, the Lord is building us back together. Because you go into verse 12, there's another thing we're going to be having in the kingdom. Verse 12. Okay. Yeah. So, back in the book of Amos, chapter 9, verse 12, and it reads that they may possess the remnant of Edom and of all the heathen, which are called by my name, said the Lord Yahweh, that doeth this. Exactly. You keep going? Oh, I'm going to break this down. Okay. We're going to possess the remnant of Edom, you know? Just like Esau got us in captivity, you devil's going into captivity yourselves, you know? Because, hey, you the first one going head first into captivity, man, you know? Because, hey, when, when you saw us falling, you, you, you took part in that, man, you know? And all you other heathens, you're going to go into captivity as well, man. Because as the scriptures say, he that leadeth, with, leadeth to captivity should go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience of the saints, man. All right? Because, hey, you possessed us. Now it's time for you to get possessed. All right? And we're going to rule over you with a righteous uh, anger, man. Okay? Because, hey, just like how you did us on, on this side, you know, you know, overdoing it with Jake, you know, putting Jake in bad predicaments, man. The projects, man. That was that was designed to to put Jake in the lower state, man. You know, I read an article over that. Literally when Jake Jake would literally had the money. They, you know, Israelite would have the money to be able to buy a new home. But what these devils would do, they would say, nah, we don't want your money. But they'd tell him in like in a quote unquote professional way, you know. They basically try to keep um, the Israelites out of these nice neighborhoods, man. But now look at Jake today, you know. You got Jake's that's doing good for themselves, you know, got nice paying jobs, you know. They able to go and get one of those houses and live in those neighborhoods with you devils, man. And what do you devils do? You go pack your shit up and leave, you know. Move somewhere far, further into the wilderness as where y'all belong, you know. Because that's all you devil's known for is fleeing when Jake is around, you know. But in the kingdom, it's going to be Israelites on every corner <laughs> in righteousness, all right? Being, being, uh, having the best of the best. And where you devil's going to be? Going to be in that caveman-like state again, man, all right? Looking like the Geico man off the commercials and shit, you know? Whole caveman. That's what you're going back to, man, all right? Um... Let's sit on that. Um, brother Taz, you want me to go ahead and... Uh, uh, did you want Brother Mariano to go? I'll give you. Uh, Isaiah 65. Yeah, go ahead and get that. Yeah, that was good. Times uh, Isaiah 65 and uh, verse 17. For behold, I create new heavens and a new earth, and the former shall not be remembered, nor come into mind. Right. For I behold, I create new heavens and a new earth. The Lord is not going to allow the, the the planet Earth to be destroyed, and you know He create a whole new. No, it's basically a new kingdom is coming to the Earth. You know, because the kingdom of heaven is going to be built on Earth. All right, 
And then what it says, the former shall not be remembered. It's basically going into, you know, the Esau's kingdom. You know, this is all going to be do done away with. Just like Esau, Esau Edom is going to be done away with. Because, hey, when you go into, um, get it real quick. Uh, Job, I think it's 20. Job 20. It says he chased away as a dream. Verse 8. You can't count the water. This is Job 20 and 8. I'm going to start at verse 7. It says, Yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. They which have seen him shall say, Where is he? He shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found. Yea, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. The eye also which saw him shall see him no more. Neither shall his place any more behold him. All right. So, hey, these devils are going to be done away with in the kingdom. Just like his kingdom is going to be done. Well, his queendom is going to be done away with because this devil puts the woman on top of the pedestal. You know, this 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 current queendom is going to be done away. All right. And righteousness is going to inherit the earth. That's why the Lord said, I created new heavens and new earth. All right. Because, hey, this world is to come is going to be ran in righteousness. It's no longer going to be warring and wickedness. You heathens ruling and, you know, y'all having y'all little fun and joining and destroying the earth. All right. Because, yeah, there is going to be a, a massive restart on the earth. Or everything is going to be replenished. Everything is going to go back to its best estate. All right. Everything is going to be undefiled. All right. Everywhere you devils go, everywhere you heathens go, you, you, you trash in the planet. All right. Basically, you, you know, you heathens are living here, you know, uh, rent free. But in the kingdom, y'all going to be paying tributary, be tributary to us, man. All right. Because the, the earth was made for us, the Israelites. All right. You heathens really supposed to be under us. But due to us, you know, falling down, you know, we under the curses, you know, we got to go through this phase first. You know, seeing you devils rule, seeing you heathens rule, seeing how y'all rule in wickedness. We understand not to be like that, all right? Because, you know, the old saying, the elders say, we got to appreciate, order to appreciate righteousness, we must go through wickedness, you know? Because how will we ever know how to be in a ruler-like state if we never seen what wickedness is like, okay? So that makes sense why, you know, we are in this situation because we got to see what not to be like. Even though we're going to have the law, statute, and commandments within our head, we still going to have that, 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 that remembrance of what you devils did to us in Babylon, all right? And what you heathens did. Because I'm quite sure you brothers got done wrong by some other heathens out here, man. You know? Um, that's it on that. Uh, you continue on on that, brother. Now, President 10, but be ye glad and rejoice forever in that which I create. For behold, I create Jerusalem for rejoicing and her people for joy. And I will rejoice in Jerusalem and joy in my people, and the voice of weeping shall be no more heard in her, nor the voice of crying. And as the Lord said in Revelations 21, you know, the Lord's going to wipe away all tears, you know. All the sufferings and all the problems we go through down here, that's going to be done away with, man. You know, so we got to continue to hold on to what we got here, you know. That's why the scriptures say, fight the good fight of faith and hold fast to what to that which is good man you know because hey w what's the point of giving up if the end is near you know we we seeing uh these prophecies moving hey the the mark of the beast can be here at any given time man you know what well, well, you gonna give up and throw your garment away you know just like the guy from Fopi, he basically put his two weeks in with the lord so i'm saying hey, I'm, I'm gonna be gone for a little minute you know, this man had a whole retirement plan with the Lord, man. So I guess he was a special Israelite with the Lord, you know. We we can't get that benefit like he can, you know. <laughs> but continue on. Um, what was you at? Uh, verse 20. Kind of, kind of. It says, there shall be no more events and in infinite days, nor an old man that have not filled his days. For the child shall die a hundred years old, but the sinner being a hundred years old shall be accursed. And they shall build houses and inhabit them, and they shall plant vineyards and eat the fruit of them. They shall not build and another inhabit, they shall not plant and another eat. 
For as the days of a tree are the days of my people, and my elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands. They shall not labor in vain, nor bring forth for trouble, for they are the seed of the blessed of the Lord, and their offspring with them. Mm -hmm. And it shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer. And while they are yet speaking, I will hear. The wolf and the lamb shall feed together, and the lion shall eat straw like the bullock, and dust shall be the serpent's meat. They, they shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain, saith the Lord. God, you know, even the animals going to be at peace, you know. Because these animals can't get no rest with you devils here, man. You know, like, well, why is it a such thing as gay animals now, man? You know? Mm -hmm. Come on, come on now. We, you can't make this stuff up, man. You know, that's why, you know, these animals that's in the, that's in the zoos, that's uh, in captivity, you know. It, it's sad to say, but they're going to have to be destroyed as well, man. You know? But everything going to come back in, in, in its right mind. You know, like, we got pets on this side and stuff. Yeah, sadly, they're going to be destroyed, too. It's just because they defiled, man, you know? All because of, you know, what you devil's done, you know? Putting these chemicals and all these kind of different GMO things out here and animals getting sick and having these feelings towards uh, the same sex. That, that That's weird, man. You know, that that's, that takes craft of a devil here, man. All right? You got to be a complete devil to... Make animals gay or sweet, man, or slack you, you know, swinging those ways, slack you, you know, you know, you got to be a devil to do that, man, all right. Um, but kind of that shit on that, you go and get that John 14, too. Book of John, chapter 14, verse 2, it reads, In my father's house and many mansions, if it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, and where I am, there you may be also. That's right. You know, and, you know, these many mansions are not talking about, you know, what Esau has out there, you know, in these rich, rich gated community. No. It's going to, like, this going to the, the Lord building galaxies, different planets, you know, for us to inherit it, man, you know. That the those that's the promises that the Lord promised us, man. All right, because our our kingdom, you know, under Yahweh Shai, is literally going to be a glorious kingdom, man. All right, and what you devils had, it, it, it ain't gonna top what we gonna have. All right, literally, Yahweh Shai is willing to share his kingdom with us, man. Just to go to show you the the humility of Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Shai didn't say, no, nah, this is all for me. No, Yahweh Shai is willing to share his kingdom with us, man. You know? That, that, that's true humility right there. And he literally building these planets and these uh, different galaxies for us, man. All right? So we got a lot to look forward to, you know? That's why, you know, these lessons, you know, going to the kingdom of heaven is, is good motivation, man. Because, hey, it, it keeps you in mind, like, what you are striving for. You know, because if you ain't striving for this, then what are you striving for? An incorruptible crown? You know, we striving for uh, so like a, a corruptible crown. You striving for a, a corruptible crown, so like you. We are striving for an incorruptible crown. All right. That corruptible crown is the, is the ways of this world. You know, Jake want to, you know, build on this side. You know, yeah, we gonna have to get 200 acres, you know, build an Israelite community, you know. Let's, let's build. But don't realize that it's going to be destroyed by the thermonuclear missiles, man. You know? Now, ain't nothing wrong with, you know, if you want to get some land, man, get some land. Ain't nothing wrong with it. But just don't put all your heart and all into it, man. That's why the Lord says, store your treasures in heaven, man. You know, because we're going to get all that in the kingdom. We're going to get planets. You know, you got to think about it. A whole planet that's yours. That's all your land. All right? Hey, you're going to have land here on earth, man. You know? Because the Lord is going to glorify everything. The Lord is going to glorify us. The Lord is going to glorify the planet. Glorify everything. Only people that's not going to be glorified is you heathens. Especially you Edomites, man. You know, you Edomites going to be set real, real low in the kingdom, man. That's why the scriptures say, 
is this the people? Is this the man that made the earth into a wilderness? That's how the heathens gonna look at you. If we gonna look at you like that, how much more the heathens gonna look at you, man? You know, how you gonna be the lowest heathen on the planet? <laughs> hey, the Lord designed y'all to be the lowest one. All right, you you had the most wickedest kingdom. Now you going to be the lowest person in the kingdom, man. All right. Oh, uh, I'm gonna tell you hope. Okay. You want to make a appreciate her? Go ahead and pull it up. Go ahead. And it reads again, the word of the Lord of hosts came to me saying, Let's say the Lord of hosts. I was jealous for Zion with great jealousy, and I was jealous for her with great fury. Thus said, Lord, I am returning to Zion and will dwell in the midst of Jerusalem. And Jerusalem shall be called a city of truth, and the mountain of the Lord of hosts, the holy mountain. Thus said, the Lord of hosts, there shall yet old men and all women dwell in the streets of Jerusalem, and every man with his staff in his hand for very age. And the streets of the city shall be full of boys and girls playing in the streets of the Let's say the Lord of hosts, if it be marvelous in the eyes of the remnant of his people, these days should be marvelous in my eyes, said the Lord of hosts. Right? Mm -hmm. The kind, and that goes into the, the world of storm, you know, Jerusalem, which we ain't going to die in the kingdom of heaven because we're going to be immortal. Exactly. Because uh, the kingdom of heaven is, is uh, pretty much going to be uh, those bodies, you know, never going off and uh, never sinning. So meaning what? We ain't gonna go in captivity no more. Mm -hmm. And uh, so yeah, no sin means what? No sickness, no judgment. <laughs> You're gonna be perfect. Sure. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And um, so first Corinthians two and nine. Okay. Yeah, man. We are literally going to be uh, literally perfect in the kingdom. You know, like right now. We not perfect, you know. We deal with elements every day. We, you know, you don't know when you going off, you know. That's why we need Yahweh Shini Shai, you know. We need them more than what we think we need them, you know. So the kingdom of heaven is 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 a, is a plus, you know. Having Yahweh Shini Shai is good, you know. And Yahweh Shini Shai giving us the kingdom. <laughs> They, 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 hey, the Lord told us that he made man to be made in his image, which is perfection, you know. We are a perfect people, but right now we're in the lowest state right now, you know. But soon we are going to be perfected. All right, go ahead, brother. Yeah. And it reads, but as it is written, I have not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which the Howard have prepared for them that love them. Right. You know, it's only so much that we can fathom about the kingdom of heaven, but it's like when we get there, it's going to be like, dang, it's better than, it's way, way better than what I was thinking, you know, because how we might perceive the kingdom of heaven, it's going to top that when we actually there, you know, because we can think about all the things and what we're reading, but at the same time, to be there and be able to experience it, it's going to top what, how we was thinking, because right now, yeah, we think it highly, you know, when we think of the kingdom of heaven, but we still have, you know, the mortal thoughts, you know, but at the same time, well, not the same, but those mortal thoughts are going to go away, all right, because, hey, right now, we, we, we can only see what we read about, but at the same time, we're going to go through that, and it's going to top it, you know, the kingdom of heaven is going to be way Way, way better than how we are explaining it, you know. What's your scripture where it says that basically, like, the how will wash me out of and give us everything before you ask? Mm -hmm. yeah, you know. I Matthew. 
Uh, finding that scripture that uh, we should ask for. Another precept that matches up with that second Corinthians. Go ahead. Why are you looking for that? Isaiah 64 and 4. And it reads, For since the beginnings of the world, men have not heard nor perceived by the ear, neither have the eye seen no power besides thee, what he have prepared for him, the greatest for him. That's what uh, Paul was referencing in the second mm-hmm. Yep. As it is written. Mm-hmm. Time, man, you know, the, we, the, the kingdom of heaven is, is, is going to be beautiful. Because, hey, when we come together, you know, the kingdom of heaven is within us, you know. Because, hey, we, 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 we speaking about highly things, you know. When we come together, we ain't speaking about some, some niggas, niggas shit. No, we, we talking about real God-like stuff. Because, hey, what did the Lord say? We are God's, you know. We, when we come together, we are talking and discussing like gods, you know. We not Yahweh, we not Yahweh, you know, but we are gods with a lowercase g, you know. We are princes of the power, all right. So how much more in the kingdom are we are going to achieve Godhood, man, you know. Just, just think about that, you know. We, we not going to be under the curses. We not going to be, you know, in captivity no more. You know, we gonna be the ones putting. We gonna be the ones over our, over um, these heathens, man. Okay, because we was their captives, and now they are going to be our captives. We are. Um, they gonna be a captivity under us, man. All right. Um, you found it. Yeah, I found that scripture in the New Testament. It's uh, John chapter sixteen, starting with twenty, verse twenty-two. You said John sixteen. Yeah. Okay. John 16. Go ahead. John it says, And ye now therefore have sorrow, and I will see you again, and your heart shall rejoice, and your joy no man take it from you. And in that day ye shall ask me nothing. Verily, verily, I say unto you, whatsoever ye shall ask the Father in my name, he will give it to you. What was that, John 16 and what? Uh, 22 and 23. Uh, okay. okay, we read that so like that. Yeah. Kind of verse 22. Um, and ye now therefore have sorrow, but I will see you again, and your heart shall rejoice, and your joy no man take it from you. And in that day ye shall ask me nothing. Verily, verily, I say unto you, whatsoever ye shall ask the Father in my name, he will give it to you. Exactly. Yep. Just like uh, right now. We lose things to be able to win your house shut, you know. And, hey, everything that we ask of the Lord, you know, the Lord is going to give it to us, man, you know, without wavering it, you know. We are blessed, you know, just blessing the cursed situation, you know. All the things that our hearts desire and all the things that we want, you know, you, you can try to get some of it on this side, but, hey, it, it's not going to work out. You know, it's gonna, it ain't going to be what you want. But in the kingdom of heaven, it's going to be what you want, you know. Like, Jake wants the best of the best, man. Right now, you're getting the best of the worst, you know. When it comes to jobs, you know, when it comes to women, you know. When it comes to anything, you're getting the best of the worst here, man. But in the kingdom of heaven, we're going to have the best of the best, you know. Jake going to be able to get a virgin in the kingdom, man. You know, you know brothers want that, you know. Right now, you can't find it because there's too many harlots, you know, too many. But that's that's the benefit of the kingdom of heaven. We are literally going to have everything that our hearts desire and more. You know, it's going to be things that you didn't ask for that you're going to get, you know. Just like with Solomon, the Lord um, gave Solomon more wisdom. We're going to get a abundance of wisdom in the kingdom, you know, because we're going to have knowledge, Okay. We are going to be true rulers of righteousness, man. All right. Um, if any brother want to read First uh, Corinthians fifteen and fifty, we just got two more or well, one more than so I don't know.
This is First Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 15 it reads Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of the hollow. Now the death of corruption inherit incorruption. Right. These bodies that we have, these these current uh temples that we have, you know, these this flesh, this not gonna make it. You know, it's it's defiled. You know, some brothers got tattoos and stuff. You think you're going to make it into a cherry with this body with tattoos all over your body? No, this is going to fade away, man. Okay? This is going to go away. This is going away. All the toxins that you got in your body, you know, everywhere, you know, your blemishes, that's not going to be able to make it. You know? Continue on up. 51. Behold, I'll show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. Right. And what we are going to be changed to, we're going to get those new bodies. Go ahead. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible. Mm -hmm. And we shall be changed. Mm -hmm. But this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. Right. And this mortal must put on immortality. You know, we're going to live forever in the kingdom. Because as Yahweh Shah says, said, I live forevermore. And if we are joint heirs into Yahweh Shah, what do you think we're going to be doing? We're going to live forever. All right? We are joint heirs into Yahweh Shah. Okay? So we are no longer going to be a sinner in the kingdom. All right? We are going to be righteous. That's why the Lord said in Isaiah 60, all thy people shall be righteous. All right? From your Charleston Whites and all the way to, the, to your Pete Diddy's. You know, they going to come back righteous in the kingdom, man. All right. Continue on. And your T.D. Jakes, they going to come back righteous, man. You know, even though they wicked as hell right now, they going to come back righteous. Verse 54. So when this corruptible shall put on incorruption and this moral shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? Right. And death is no longer going to have dominion over us in the kingdom, man. Because how are you going to be immortal dying? You know? We are going to live forever, man. We are no longer going... The death is no longer going to have the victory over us anymore, man. Right. Because we are going to have the law, statute, and commandments within our mind... We are never going to go off in the kingdom. Right. right. And if I can say, uh, we're going to have to be immortal to go out into uh, outer space. Exactly. Because, you know, I was meditating on that the other day. Because, uh, well, one, there's going to be a different type of technology in the kingdom. Like those chariots. Can, I don't know how fast they go, but they are super fast. You know, the technology is out of this world. But to travel to these other galaxies, if... Um, you know, looking at Esau science, it would take what, like, <laughs> fifty years to go to Mars, or something like that. Mm -hmm. So right, so kind. So we would have to uh, have technology and be uh, immortal mm -hmm. to, to travel those long distances. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Right. Yeah, like you know. Everything these devils try to achieve, you know, this devil, you know, you got Star Wars and, you know, Star Trek. You know, this devil trying to uh, achieve, you know, jumping from one a planet to another planet. But guess what? That's going to be for us, you know. Hey, the, 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 the Lord only set you devils so far to go so far. You devils can't even go underneath the ocean so far. Look what happened with Jai trying to explore the Titanic. You got crushed like that, man. We're going to be able to explore the depths of the ocean in the kingdom, man. All right? Go ahead. Yeah, I was just going to say, too, as well, when you look at being immortal, when you're looking at this mortal flesh, I mean, you can't even fly in a plane but so so far before you pass out with G-Force. Mm -hmm, right? You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So there's, there's no way that this flesh is going to be able to uh, go into, you know, to another solar system, right. you know? And, and you see how blessed we are and how blessed we're going to be in the kingdom? We literally going to get new bodies that literally can survive everywhere, man. You know? Because we're going to be on these different planets, you know? Hey, the Lord blessed us, man. You know, we, we are going to be perfect. 
All right, as we always supposed to been, but hey, this is the story that the Lord wrote out for us, man, to be in this low predicament, soon to inherit a a, a glorious predicament, man. All right, because we always had the victory. Right now, we just had a lower state. All right. All right. Um, um, this says it's like you. I just Google it. It said you can jump in a car and travel at a hundred miles per hour. It will take forty years to reach you. Let's see. Right. So kind of you gonna have to have those um, the type of technology to get there in what seconds. Exactly. Yeah. So, you know, we going to inherit all of that, man. Like the brother said, uh, the, the G-Force, mm -hmm. you know, because, hey, those, uh, those cherries, you don't feel no G-Force in it. Mm -hmm. You can tell, you can tell that the angels don't feel G-Force in it because the way how, the way how the cherry move, mm -hmm. there's no way how you can go, what well, they, they said they call the cherry going, um, Mach speed, so Mach 7. So that's, that's 760 miles per hour, and that's just starting off, you know, like, there is no aircraft carriers that you saw have that can go that fast, all right, and, and, and that's really slow compared to how they actually travel. Mm -hmm. Yep, kind of, you know, we, we, you know, brothers that have seen chairs, I've seen, you know, how quick they can go from being in our realm and going to the spiritual realm, man, you know. The, 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 this is what we are going to inherit, you know. But uh, any brother got any more precepts before I read this last one right here? I got one. Go ahead. Um, real quick. Uh, Matthew 13, 44. Black Rock of Thought. said Matthew 13 and 44. Okay. All right. Yeah, it reads, Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto treasure hid in a field, the which when a man had found, he hide it. And for joy, therefore go and sell all that he had and buy it from the field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a merchant man seeking wooden pearls, who, when he had found one pearl of great price, went and sold all that he had and bought it. Right, so the idea of us being in this current stage, right? We we've given all that we have, we've given that up for Christ, we, because we found this field, mm -hmm. right? These, the, the treasure and the wisdom of the how about you know, and you know, and it's precious to us. Mm -hmm. So right. we, we 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 bought this field, you know what I mean? That's got and, and, and got these goodly pearls, man. You know that we've given up everything else for. Mm -hmm. and, and, and because what we found it with gladness, exactly. so that's what that kingdom is going to be for us. Lord, what we make it, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, you know, it just kind of you know, the lesson just kind of brought that in mind. Come, on. yeah, come, on. beautifully said. Come, on. come. On. Just got this last one right here. This is uh, Philippians it was three, three and nineteen, and the reason it said uh, three and twenty. It says, for our conversation is in heaven, for whence also we look for our Savior, the Lord, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, who shall change our vile body, that it shall, may be glorious, uh, <clears throat> who shall change our vile body, that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body, according to the working whereby he is even, he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. And what did Yahweh Shai yes. subdue? Subdue death, okay? Hey, Yahweh Shah came on the earth as a mortal man, and he's returning in his immortal state, man. Because, hey, you're going to Isaiah 47, where he says, I should not, I should not uh, meet thee as a man. Meaning what? He's coming back in his glorious body, okay? His glorious form, you know? That, 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 that spiritual body that we are joint heirs to obtain, man. That's why I said our conversations in heaven. You know, we are going to be made glorious just like Yahweh Shai, man. All right? Especially the Israelite, man. You know, you need the Israelite woman going to be glorious as well, you know? Because, hell, man, you know, you, you women right now, man, it, it ain't right right now. Man. But, you know, us men, we, we going to be right in the kingdom too, man. But, hey, we, we are going to be, we, we are going to be blessed, man. All right? 
we are going to inherit glory. We are going to inherit the planet, you know, the, the universe, all right? The kingdom of heaven is ours, man, all right? We're going to have slaves. We're going to have spiritual powers, man. Everything that our hearts desire and more, all right? So once again, man, you got to really understand what you in this thing for, man. What you chasing a corruptible crown, you know, that, that you know, that, that, crown where you only get it to enjoy it for a short season you know or you can uh, trying to chase the incorruptible crown which is going to be forever and ever and ever man okay it's something to look forward to you know and hey i pray and hope all you arcium in this room make it you know including myself you know because hey i i don't i don't want to be on this side for another year or 15 years here man you know all right, hey, I just wish this stuff can go to hell soon, man. You know, destruct the this, this the chip comes soon or later, man. But that's all that I got. I can't get any closer. We got a, we got a preset. Uh, dealing with us being blessed. I mean, we went uh, we went out on the, the side, the other side when we go into you know when we go to heaven when we do salvation. But we are also blessed on this side too. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, so uh, Psalms 103, starting at the seventh verse. It says Psalms 103. Yep, Psalms 103, starting at the seventh verse. Go ahead. All right. So Psalms 103, start, chapter 103, starting at the seventh verse, reads, it says, He made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. Okay? So by the uh, Yahweh Yahweh Shai coming to Israel and making us aware of his law, statutes, and commandments and showing his ways is a blessing exactly. within itself. Mm -hmm. Okay? Verse 8, it says, The Lord Yahweh is merciful and gracious slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. And, and, and that's the truth because if you go to the ninth verse, right, it says he will he will not always chide. And if you go into the word chide, it means like to rebuke or to admonish, okay? To tell you uh, 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 what you did wrong, okay? He will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever, okay? He has not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. Okay, mm -hmm. because you know Jack always was willing to serve other gods. Okay, and and to go off and you know that's that was one of the main things why Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah turned his back on us. Okay, right. serving other gods and, and doing things uh, like the heathen after Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah showed us his law, statutes, and commandments. Okay. Uh, verse 11 it says for as okay as as for as the heaven is high above the earth so great is his mercy toward them that fear him okay and that's a blessing okay yeah. that's definitely a blessing but that's on this side so we can get right okay and receive salvation okay repent and see, receive salvation that's all I have oh, man. you know yeah we are blessed you know because these law, statutes, and commandments keep us in order, you know. We, we try to keep them to the best of our ability. Even being in captivity, that's why the scripture say rehearse the righteous acts, you know. Even though we can't do it perfectly, but we still try to do it, you know. We just don't go out and just break the law, statutes, and commandments on purpose. No, okay. So, kind of, man. That's, that's basically this lesson, man. Lord willing is edifying to those who watch Giving our honor, no glory, no praise due to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Akadash. Till next time, to this video, Shalom.